In this video, you're going to learn how to create a notification based on something that happens in your model driven app. The example we're working with here is when a new account is created or a new record is created of any kind, send an email to the person who that account has been assigned to. Principles are the same for any kind of notification you want to work with. Let's jump in and I'll take you through it. Here are the accounts in my model driven app, which is what I'm going to use here. And you'll see that each account has an owner, which will be different depending on how we assign these. So what we're going to do is to use Power Automate to say when a new account is created, find the user who is the owner, grab their email address and send them that email notification. So we're going to go into our make.powerapps experience where we always work and inside a solution. And once I'm inside my solution, I'm going to create a new automation a cloud flow and there are different types of cloud flows that I can create here. The one I want is automated because it's based off a data action that's happening inside there. Those other types will allow you to do things like button presses and so on, but that's for another video and another time. We're going to call this one something nice and easy to remember what it is. And then we'll search the triggers. We'll search for Dataverse here to find that. Now you'll see we've got the action that comes up here when a row is added, modified or deleted. That's actually the one that I want and we will We'll click create to get it going. I've got some options here so I can choose for this trigger to happen when the row is added, which is actually what I'm going to do here. But I can actually have it based on added or deleted, added or modified, all of these other different things. So if it's something where you want a notification just that first time when it's added, but if you might in this situation, for instance, change the account owner and you want it to be notified every time, not just when it's added, but when there's a change to that person as well, then you would choose added or modified. I'm just going to go with added here for demonstration. Keep it nice and simple. Which table is the trigger coming from? In this case, this is the accounts table. So I can just type that in and select it. And then we choose a scope here. Do we want this flow to run for just a certain business unit for a certain user? These are all concepts around the security model. I'm going to go with organization, which means it will apply across all of the records in the organization. OK, we've got our trigger lined up now. We need some action. So the next step is I'm going to do something else in Microsoft Dataverse here. The first thing I need to do is to retrieve the user who is the owner. Now, I wouldn't need to do this step if it wasn't a lookup. If I was just looking for the phone number or something that's on that record, I'd be fine. But this is actually a lookup. If I go into it, you'll see here. So I need to find the table that's underneath that, which in this case is the user table in order to get the details of of the email address for the user. So what I'm going to do is use the option here that's called get a row by ID. Which table am I looking for? The owner is actually connected to the table called user. So we'll scroll down there. And then how does it know which user it's looking for? It's looking for the user that is attached to the owner column in the previous step. So the previous step here is when a row is added, modified or deleted, which is here. I'm actually looking for the owner. There it is there, the owner. Now I actually want the value of the owner. We should do something a little bit better here. Let's tidy this up again. So we'll go rename. So this is when a new account is created. And what we're going to do here is call this one now, get the owner. All right, we'll pop that one out again so we can see what we're doing. Now we can go ahead with our notification because we've got all of the information we need. So in this case, we're doing an email notification. Uh, we're going to use something that says send an email. We can just start typing that in. All of these things in Power Automate are a matter of sort of knowing what you're looking for. If you just type the name of the connector, I've gone straight to send an email. But if I knew that I was doing something with Outlook, you can do that and you can find Outlook and see all of the options for what you can do with Outlook. If you preferred to send a message in Microsoft Teams, for instance, as well, you can go in here and choose Microsoft Teams and you've got options there. So you could actually post a message inside Microsoft Teams instead of a email notification, which would be my personal preference. But <laughs> let's do an email in this instance. So I'm going to go into send an email. I just know it's called that because I've done this a few times before. So we can go straight to that action. And now we need to use a dynamic value in the two. Who's it going to? It's going to the email address of that account owner, which is different depending on who has been assigned that account. So we can go in here to say add dynamic content rather than just typing in a static email address. And what we want is the email address from that get the owner step. And there it is there, the primary email. It's actually helping us out because it's expecting an email. Subject of the email, we can say new account created. 
And we can also put in a dynamic value here if we want in the subject line. So in this case, I can search for account and I'm getting the account name from that when a new account is created step with me so far. All right. Now the body of the email, you can put in whatever you like here, just to show you a few more dynamic things. I can say hi and greet the person. So now I'm looking for the person's first name. So there we go from the get the owner step, first name, a new account has been created. Please reach out to them or whatever action it is you want them to take. So again, we can grab that name of the account. So from when a new account is created, let's grab that account name. Let's add some other things in here so that the person can see more information about the account. So we can put in the phone and the address as well, which they can use to go and see the new account. So if we pop phone in here and you want to be careful with these, because as we start to type in the dynamic content here, you'll see that we've actually got phone, get the owner. We don't want the phone number of the person we're sending it to, remember that's the owner. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit to when a new account is created and grab that main phone number. And same with the address here, just make sure that when you're using this dynamic content, you're getting it from the section you want. So we don't want it from that get the owner section. We actually wanna go all the way down here to when a new account is created and address one there will give us the complete address. Right, let's save that and give it a bell. Back in my model driven app, let's create a new account here. This one is a uh, groovy little coffee shop and we'll give it a phone number so that we can see that come through and also a street address. For those of you who like to play along at home and comment on uh, some of the very um, <laughs> Melbourne addresses that I pick here, this is where I, um, this is the city that I live in. Bridge Road, Richmond is actually a real place in Melbourne that has some uh, pretty cool little cafes and restaurants. There you go. You've learned something extra. Now, before we save it, we want to assign this to somebody else. So imagine I'm Sam here. I'm doing the data entry. Maybe see I'm in the account team creating new accounts and I want to actually assign this to Dan. So we're going to go in here and we're going to look this up and make sure that it's assigned to Dan. Save that. And within a couple of seconds here, we should be seeing an email come through to Dan. So let's switch across to his experience and see what happens. There we go, boom, <laughs> new account created right there. So that's that email that's just come through. Hi Dan, new account has been created. We've got the phone number and the address all ready to go. So there you go, create whatever notifications you like, however you like with whatever dynamic text you need. Don't forget to give this video a like if you get value out of it and thanks very much for watching.